Hey everyone, we're going to transform this sound into this. Using just one effect in a space. But before we get into that, please hit that subscribe button to show your support for the channel. So let's begin by creating a simple patch. So to ensure we're starting from scratch, we're just going to go initialize patch this utility and just click that initialize patch thing and we go to layer a and we get the wonderful source square bright that it always starts with but we're going to use source square fat for this particular uh, example and what we're going to do is just enable the filter we'll leave the cutoff where it is and bring the resonance just around about the same place so we get a bit of a squelchy sound now to thicken the sound we're just going to add a bit of unison and drop it down an octave and move the depths around about just below halfway now this is where the magic happens we're going to put uh, an example of inner space onto the effects now as we're only using one layer we can just use common for this particular example so I'm just going to put inner space down and that's under creative inner space and I'm just going to move this wet dry down to about and about 50% now for the first slot we're going to put it on scatter and I want a liquid stream sonics drops 2 and on the second one I want noise machine now what inner space does imparts these particular sound sources onto your patch so originally we get this and now we get this let's turn the output a bit so i'm not going to absolutely deafen you so so what i want to do i want to favor the sort of stream sonic drops a bit more so i get the bit of delay in there now I'm going to add an LFO so I'll just right click modulate modulate with LFO gonna change the rate to about 0.25 or thereabouts that'll do wang the smooth across I don't want it to be going the full depth so I'll just bring the depth down to around about that'll do and then bring the source so it just moves gently between layer A and B. Now I want to put the same LFO on the wet dry mix. So all I need to do is right click that, go to modulate, and instead of saying modulate with LFO, just go to all mod sources and select LFO one. Now I've got the same LFO on the wet dry as I have on the balance. And all I need to do is just change the source because I don't want it to go completely off. And that's that done. We now have this sound. Although it's kind of cool, that's that's not the sound we had at the beginning. And because I'm aiming for sort of like a deep cinematic y deep pad sound, you know, from cinematic style. So let's add another inner space. And under this one we're going to use um, a preset and to access the presets this little down arrow click on that and we're going to go crackle and hum we now get this sound now i'm just going to turn the outputs up a little bit we are a little bit top heavy on this layer i've noticed a bit trebly so you can dampen that by just turning down the 5k a bit turn the 10k down a bit and then just broaden the cue so that now tames the upper frequencies now if we put that back on now we get this So we've gone from this sound 
to this sound really, really quickly. But, you know me, we're not going to stop there, as this works really well with wavetails with Omnisphere. For this next part, I'm going to use samples from my own Omnisphere library called Sanctuary, and this is available through the link in the description below. On the first layer, I'm going to go into Sample, and I'm going to click Empty, I'm going to run straight down to uh, Sanctuary on here, and I want Sirius. Now, I'm just going to turn all these off, because I don't want any filters, and I don't want any unison on the moment, because this is a beautiful flute sound. Well, it does help if I turn the FX off, doesn't it? So that's a flute stop from an organ that I play. Um, and if you don't know, I'm, I'm an organist as well as an electronic musician. So what I'm going to do now is just pull on unison, and I'm just going to, instead of going down an octave, I'm going to put it up an octave. And now I'm going to spoil your ears, something rotten, by letting you hear a little bit of me singing. So, yes, cover your ears more to the point, because we get this. And as you go up the keyboard, you get the chipmunk effect. And what I'm going to do is just put granular on. I'm not going to change any parameters in there, I'm just going to bang on a granular. And now, when enable, in a space on this, we get this sound. Sorry, need to put the other layer on now. Now, we can go a bit further by just adding the filters on. And let's turn the resonance up a bit on this layer. Put the cutoff open a bit more, and we get this now. So, we've gone from to this. Very, very, very quickly. So go ahead, experiment with what inner space can do for your sound. And in the meantime, stay creative, stay sonic, and I'll see you in the next one.